What's good gang? Today I'm doing a build challenge and it is the every room is a different style challenge. So I'm going to be using a wheel to determine what every room is going to be. So unfortunately, I lost the audio to almost all of my video. I guess at some point I think my Yeti unplugged itself and so the recording stopped and I didn't realize it, but I still have all the footage. So the next so the rest of my video is going to be a voiceover and just me building and it's just going to be me now talking about it and everything like that. So I hope that's okay with you guys. I hope it turns out okay and everything like that. If you want to see more content, more videos, more Sims challenges or anything in general, really just suggest anything. We'll play any game, do any challenge. You should subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you and welcome back. Also, like this video, comment down below, and follow us on our social medias. Instagram is S-I-M-B-L-A-N-G-S-S underscore, and Twitter is the exact same thing without the underscore. So now we can get into this video. So I'm going to start this build off by making my foundation first, or I guess my shell first, just putting down a couple of blocks. I'm going to do like a two-story, so like a bedroom upstairs, then everything else downstairs. So here I am just dividing the main floor up into little sections for the bathroom, the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, the front area. Excuse my voice by the way, I just woke up maybe an hour ago so I'm very raspy and gross. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down some lights. <laughs> lay down some lights, who am I? I'm gonna put down some lights. So these ones are just standard sims lights after I go in with a different style, I'm going to use the appropriate lights and then delete these ones afterwards. I think at some point too, I use that little fencing, the one that's like... I straight up can't figure it out. The trim, the little trim on the ground. I end up using that just to divide the space up a little bit better, but keep it open. Yes, I cheat a little bit. I don't care. So I'm choosing the style for the living room, I think. Yeah. So I got contemporary for the living room. It actually ended up being pretty good. Or it actually ended up working out really well. Contemporary has a lot of really good stuff in it. A lot of cute stuff. So like this couch. Honestly, this build went really well for me. <laughs> I got pretty lucky except for the upstairs area and like a little bit of objects here and there. The cool thing is that almost every single style had some form of plants, so I was able to decorate pretty nicely. See, this is the living room and it turned out so cute. I really love it. So this is basically the final look of the living room before I added the stairs and everything. And now I think I'm going to choose the style for the kitchen. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This voiceover is weird, like I don't know what to say. But anyways, I got patio. So patio is a little frustrating because it didn't actually have many objects in it or many things in it anyways for inside. So I had to use a grill as my stove. With the style being different in every room, I did forget a couple of things. So I forgot garbage cans and sinks. <laughs> There's one sink in this house and it's in the bathroom, I believe, which I find is okay. I also forgot a couple of doors. <laughs> like I forgot a door for the bathroom at some point. I explain it later or like I show it later as well, but whatever. One thing I love about the patio uh, style is that it already has a little grill tongs and everything and some sauces and all that stuff. So it really does make it look a little more kitcheny. So you can really tell it's like they tried to make it a kitchen. Also, I'm just explaining here that I want it so this couple looks like they just collect lots of things that I, like I said already. The house is just gonna look super, super funky. I love this in the end. So the floors suck, by the way. I don't want to talk about it. There's also no walls. I also don't want to talk about that. Like, there's no wall color. I don't want to talk about that either. It's hard. <laughs> So I'm going to choose the style for the dining area front room section, and I got Cosmolux. 
So I actually didn't know that Cosmolux had so many good... <clears throat> Sorry that my voice keeps cracking today. It has so many good objects in it. Like, look at this. It's cute. Like, these lights are really cute. And I add this jukebox in and I just think, or not jukebox, I keep calling it a jukebox, it's a record player. I think the record player just makes the house just, it gives it some personality. So I'm moving on to the bathroom and I got Island. <laughs> I didn't show the wheel spin because I forgot to be honest. So Island unfortunately doesn't have a toilet. But it has everything else. It has a sink. It has a sink and a shower or a bathtub or anything like that. It also has like a million plants. So I just covered the thing in plants. And yeah, I add a toilet somewhere else later. So I've moved on up to the bedroom. So I got Tudor. I'm not gonna lie. This sucks because there is not very many objects and it's definitely not made for a bedroom so I kind of just had to add in some like random stuff you'll see later. I kind of had to turn this into just like a weird family room that kind of is supposed to be the quote unquote bedroom but like it didn't have any bedroom items so I don't know. It's just a really random spot. It's kind of like the room that I had to fill because <laughs> I had no choice. But yeah, it doesn't really match the house much, but it's like, it's whatever. It's upstairs. People barely go up there. So now I'm going to choose for the outside and I got basics. Honestly, I got really lucky getting basics. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's kind of cheap how easy it was for me with basics but it's fine because everything that I didn't have I got to have later because I can stick everything outside now so I want to make their house look just like super refurbished like they just found things and just added it to the house so that's why all the walls are different colors all of the windows are going to be different colors like everything is just going to look super weird and funky so here I am trying to make this house look normal and adding normal windows, but not. I end up adding in different windows everywhere. Just different color, different style, different shapes, different sizes, and it comes out super cool. So I really like how all of the different windows gives this house just so much freaking personality and so much charm to it. So I've decided that I'm turning this top balcony area into the bedroom because basics has everything so like why not just add a bedroom up here the one thing that i am lacking again i already said it trash can there is no sink in the kitchen but 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 i did forget another item <laughs> i forgot a freaking fridge but it's okay my sims are just gonna go over to their neighbor's house and they're gonna be like, hey, yo, let me borrow some food. And they're gonna say, sure. Also, what you just saw was a toilet. And yes, I made a little room for a toilet using dividers. Now there's gonna be a seating area outside of the fancy looking outing or the fancy looking outhouse thing. So here's a cute little seating area just made with items that they found in the dumpsters and the trash cans outside their neighbor's lawns. I also decided to do this cool little walkway with some pink tile and it's so cute, I love that. I never thought to do that before. And this is my finished build. I'm super excited about it. I think it's really cute. I actually really want to play it myself because it's so cute and charming. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. There's lots of things going on, um, but I think that just really makes sense for the location of this build, the couple that I've made to live in this build, and just everything else in general. So I think it's really nice. So once we go inside, you'll see the living room, which was contemporary. Love it. Love the stair placement. Honestly, like it looks super cluttered, but it's cool. Kitchen, again, patio. 
I had to use a freaking grill as a stove, so don't judge me on that, okay? And I don't have a fridge, but it's whatever. So right behind it, we have the dining slash walkway area, like front room foyer thing. I love this area, to be honest, because I just like the record player that's in it. It gives this house like a nice charm to it. I keep saying the word charm, but like, honestly, they're just so cute. But here's my bathroom. It's just full of plants, a shower, and a sink. So this is where the sink is, because at least I have one now. But I also did forget to add a door into the bathroom, so that's really cool and stuff. I'm just like a whole mess, but that's whatever. So here's my favorite freaking room. Just kidding. It's the be it's the worst room. I got, what is it? Tutor for up here. So I just thought that I would make this just the random place. So there's a wheelbarrow, there's a dresser, there's a bookshelf, there's a mirror, there's a freaking, what's that thing called? The fountain. There's just a couch where you can take a nap. But there's a door that leads outside. And when you come outside, there's the bedroom. So that's where the couple sleeps. That's where they relax. They hang out on this cute, cozy little balcony with the bed full of plants and all that and whatnot. But yeah, that concludes my build. Isn't she so cute? I love it so much. So that concludes the end of the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I really like this build challenge again. I really like this build challenge. It was really cool to see the different items that I just never see. Every single time I do one of these challenges, I always see items that I've never seen before that like I know I, we just had this entire time. I just never had the opportunity to use it. Not even the opportunity. I'm just dumb. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching me do this build challenge. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Have you done this challenge before? Also, like this video, comment down below, and follow us on our social medias. Everything is linked in the description box, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!